I've been dreaming of places to go with my sniper coil. Normal. Okay. So basically, I'm thinking of every trashy park that I've ever been to where there's like bottle caps like crazy on the ground. And for eight years, I would think to myself, oh, I wonder what it would be like with a sniper coil. Why did it take me this long to get one? I don't know. That's ridiculous. But I'm going to get some answers today. A wise person or a wise guy once said that those who assume make an ass out of you and me. So we're not going to assume that everybody knows what a sniper coil is. Basically, it's a tiny coil. In the case of Mind Lab, it's a six inch coil and you could navigate around trash, which usually takes the form of bottle caps, pull tabs. If you are in a park that is really heavily loaded with garbage, you'll be able to hear the signals of uh, more valuable stuff. So this one is uh, so trashy that it's really challenging to get a straight signal. But th this, this is the kind of trial that I wanted to see it go through. So, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what I get, or I'll show you what I get. I've heard some really good solutions with that, such as uh, using a magnetic rake. But here's the thing, you do not want to touch those in the age of COVID. So that good idea can wait. Uh, that, using a sniper coil in combination with uh, a magnetic rake, that might be best practice. But, oh no, we're not touching bottle caps right now. All right, first legit signal. It's a dime. Yeah, I've had my eye on this big tree and all the roots for a long time. Let's see what we could get. You know, this is really frustrating me. I think the safest place, if you have a hoard of treasure that you want to uh, save, it's, it, don't put it in a bank, just bury it under bottle caps. You know, like, metal detectorists will never get it. Uh, it'll never be stolen. It's it's perfect. Just hide it under tons of bottle caps. Very frustrating. So the immediate vicinity of this tree, as you can see, this is just covered, covered with that junk. And of course, many of these, not all bottle caps, you know, ring up uh, as mid-tones. There's many that uh, ring up just like silver coins. And I've dug a few today. But let's keep going. Finally got a little daylight. You have to go very slow. Let's dig. Just a regular dime. There's a cop car over there that is uh, pulling people off the field. I don't know if he's coming for me now. Okay, let me uh, see. Yeah, he just announced that the park uh, closed at uh, dusk. So I'm out. I'll find another place. You know, it's not meant to be tonight. I think I'm going to go home and uh, be a good dad. Play some Smash Brothers with the kiddos. Um, yeah, I'll wake up early tomorrow morning and go, uh, go to a better place. Go to a better place. Some people just really struggle to learn. All right, park is open and we are back. And uh, I'm, I'm just nervous that uh, somebody in the uh, eight or ten hours that uh, transpired, somebody sniped the silver and all of the bottle caps. I hope that's not the case. We're gonna see. I'm also on a mission to cut better plugs. So we got uh, got a, uh, a digging tool, better digging tool. So I named this, you know, my sniper coil, Wesley Snipes. I'm gonna name this the hand of God. So it's, it's me, Wesley Snipes, and the hand of God this morning. Sounds fun, right? Yeah. Oh, clean cut, look at that. Let's get this out of the way. And bottle cap. Meh. Not impressed. We have a dime and a surgical plug. Look at that. Look at that. That's growth. Let's play Where Did Merrill Dig? Can anybody see it? Oh, I can't. Rhetorical question. Loving this signal. 26, 27, 28. Oh, yeah. I'm calling silver. No, I'm not. I'm calling bottle cap. What did I tell you? It's a bottle cap. 
meh. Meh. Like they say in France, meh. You know, I swept over the signal again, and it's a second bottle cap in the same frickin' place. Meh. How can we leave a park like this? The deer are crying somewhere. Oh, heck, let's play metal detecting mad libs. Wesley Snipes got ten more. Wesley Snipes got somebody's keys. Wesley Snipes likes cores. Wesley Snipes found Old English. Wesley Snipes does not fear the hand of God. Wesley Snipes found a nice signal. Wesley Snipes found a quarter. Wesley Snipes likes to swing it slowly in trashy areas. Wesley Snipes found a dime. A best practice for using Wesley Snipes is to turn up the sensitivity. Pump it up. He's sensitive. The hand of God can easily cut through the earth. See what I mean? The hand of God works really well with Wesley Snipes. See what I mean? Especially in the movie Blade. <laughs> Ten cents. The hand of God uncovered a quarter. Merrill finds it difficult to dig surface targets with the hand of God. I found cat food with Wesley Snipes and the hand of God. Dime. Dime. Wesley Snipes likes old trees. Dime. That's a quarter. All right, got to go to work. Uh, no silver this morning. I guess Wesley Snipes was uh, lactose intolerant this morning. But you know what? There's this afternoon. Let's go get it. But first, my new tools need an introduction. here. Why would we want to do that? We are on the hunt for silver and again the focus of this we're filling this box okay we need to fill a box by the end of 2020 or else I don't know what else or else it's just a random goal but it's important to me at this moment in time I want to fill that box and the way that you do it is to dig and the only way that you dig is if you love to dig. And darn it, I love to dig. So we're going to Brooklyn. The million dollar question is, will I use Wesley Snipes? And I really have not decided yet. I'm trying to think back. I was, I did this park already in a video. And I'm trying to think of the spacing because that's what's really important when you choose a coil. If you have stuff that is all over the place, really tightly packed, you're uh, you're better off using a sniper coil. If you have stuff that is sparse, you could use the oversized coil, especially if stuff is deep. But, um, you know, the one that's right in the middle, that's a heck of a coil too, the standard coil. So uh, I'll figure that out in the next five or so minutes. Welcome to downtown Brooklyn. To beautiful Commodore Barry Park, one of the oldest parks in Brooklyn. Might even be the oldest park in Brooklyn. Last time I was here, no silver. I remember that. Well, I got a ring that was silver, but um, uh, got some good stuff. Buttons, really old relics. 
I think the ground is, um, I think they put a layer over it, but um, you still could get some good stuff. Um, last time I was here, I used the Safari, and this time I'm using the regular coil with the Equinox. And I got a signal. Six inches down, and uh, it's a dime signal. Hopefully it's silver. Dime. Great signal. Four to five arrows down. Jeez. Let's get this one. 1952 wheat scent. Okay, so we got some age in this park. Beautiful 1929 wheat scent here. Okay, it's it's here. We just gotta find it. Dime. I scratched the hell out of it, but I think we got it. Oh my god. This is a first. Holy shit. Oh, it's a seated quarter. Oh, this is a first. I've never gotten that before. Holy. We interrupt that word for a public service announcement. Hagen dies. Has been unlocked. We got it. Yes. Oh man. Okay, let's hit this hard. Yeah, so that was a, a bucket lister for me. I, I've never found uh, one of those before. I've found uh, seated dimes, a whole bunch of them. Never a seated quarter. So that's uh, that's off the books now. Um, I still haven't found a barber quarter, but uh, let, let's. Uh, <laughs> Let's keep digging, we'll get there. So as you can see, we're making some progress here. And these uh, bigger pieces, these are gonna be uh, really important. So go join your friends. haagen has been unlocked. Okay, right next to the seated quarter. Another great signal. I preach to you all the time about the dirt, but hard, compact dirt. I'm telling you, the other stuff blows away. This is old. Oh, we are on fire. Look at this gilt button. Look at that loop on the back. Oh, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. Thank you, New York City. Thank you. We got an old zipper now. Gorgeous signal. Eight inches down. Quarter signal. I've got a good feeling about this. Well, unfortunately, this is just uh, a broken piece of something. This is a logo, and I think it, uh, I mean, it rings up as silver. Gucci, I think, to the double G. That's a surface find. You know, I could find those four leaf clovers, so just saw this lying on the surface. All right, this is crazy. This is my third wheat scent of the day, 1926. This is practically surface. Another jumpy. Signal that's deep. <laughs> all right, let's dig. Well, that signal was a piece of iron that was causing trouble. You see all the rocks in here. Uh, I mean, the thing is, I don't know what the native ground is here, but I'm almost positive that this was brought in. A lot of it was brought in. But when they spread dirt over the land, when they landfill, that does not necessarily mean that some of the older stuff will not end up at the top. And I think that's what wound up happening with the, uh, with the quarter and some of the wheat scents. Plus, something like this, if you put dirt on top, 
it's gonna blow away in time. Definite quarter signal, quarter-ish signal that is. And two arrows down, which is three to four inches. That sounds solid, let's get it. Well, I got it, and uh, this is a cleanup candidate. I think this is a draw handle that you pull, uh, you know, in order to pull the draw out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you could see if you really look that this middle part is copper. So this is a, uh, we'll tumble this, we'll take a look. Jeff's here, I gotta show him something. Yeah. Not bad. It's worth it though. Oh, gee, here? Come on, man. Yep. Come on. Last time I was shut out, but uh, this is uh, this is a first for me. I've never found one of these. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. I scratched the back, but. It's okay. Yep. You know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> there you go. That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it works. I got an Indian head I, over at uh, Prospect. I wasn't, I wasn't there long. Well done. 1885 Indian head. I, I hope the eagle feels the same. Oh my God. Yeah. Did it Let's do it. Let's do it, my man. Thank you. For yep. Invite. Yep, of course. Lots of yunk. I don't know. This might be a job for Wesley Snipes. All right, here's an interesting signal. 12, 13. That's a nickel signal. Three arrows down. Let's see what we get. Yunk. Yunk. 68 Memorial Penny. Yeah, so this guy showed me the location of a Real, so I, I'm really rooting for him today. Go get that silver, man. Go get it. Nickel. Dime. We have unlocked... <laughs> we have unlocked Taco Bell. That, my friend, is a ring. It's a ring. It's not a nice one, but it's a ring. Oh my goodness. It's unlocked. It's official. Yo, I had it on my way here today, by the way. Oh, what, what a good choice you made. What a good choice. Yeah. There we go. Taco Bell has been unlocked. Tacos. So I think that's number 34 for the year. Oh my god, I love this place. I'm surprised I dug that. That ring up is 2021. But like they say in France, a ring is a ring is a ring. So Taco Bell has been unlocked. I hereby declare that you are a ring and you may join your 2020 friends and in the future join all of the rest of your friends. Congratulations. Taco Bell has been unlocked. Man, look at this little old tack. I never keep those. They look tacky. What in the world is this? <laughs> That's, I've never seen anything like this before. That's pretty cool. It's old. Look at it, the uh, patina on it. Dime. Got a nice 1211 signal. Sounds good. Yunk. Just a regular Eagle selfie quarter. Dime. Dime. We got silver number two. Hagen does. I've been unlocked. There we go. It's a Merc this time, which is what I'm more used to getting. I think that. Yeah, man. Good day today. Merc 1919. What? I'm telling you, right around here. Right back. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. And you, you see how deep? Not deep. No, it's they mixed it around, but they kept the soil. You're right, they turned the whole thing up. Okay. All right, Hagen Dazs and Taco Bell have my been God. unlocked. Thank God I get my steps in. Go and join your friends. Dime. Yep. 
think I got number three. You want to pull it? Hagen does. Has been unlocked. In Fuego, yeah. On Fuego. There it is. Give me good news. Oh, that looks like a Rosie. All right. 59. 59. Sweet. Oh my goodness. Good day. You better, uh, you better stock up on the uh, ice cream, I guess. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gotta make a trip. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, 27. Before you put the fat jokes in the comments, like, uh, you know, I, I don't eat it all in one day. I, if I get three silvers, we got two in the refrigerator for when I have bad days. But as for now, go and join your friends. Oh, and I wasn't the only one who, uh, who pulled silver that day. Please do. Jeff is on the board. He's on the silver board. It is, oh, I can't tell. It's a rosy. Huh? All right. And it is the date. My eyes 64, are... 1964. The there curse you go, of the sir. 65. Has there ended. you go. He All got right, it. Ben and Jerry's. Well done, sir. Thank you. Dime. Jumpy. <laughs> Sounds bigger, but let's dig it. Yunk. You know what the translation of junk is? Meh. Oh my god, like, I totally thought it was an Indian hat, but it's like totally a Zankin. How lame. Quarter. Oh my god, like, totally a quarter. It's time for the hand of God. I am back. With the hand of God. Nickel. Dime. Dime. Okay, look, look at what Jeff found. <laughs> Who should we give it to? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking Adele. You're doing it wrong. That that's just we got to turn that into a button for her. Or it you... denotes the si that I was chasing this signal. <laughs> but you know what? You got it, and that's how uh, that's how you get good. And it's got the pin, so we will give this to Adele. We got to give that to Adele. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a quarter. Stopping coin pollution one dime at a time. <laughs> Meh. Look, they say in Scotland, it's a screw. Good day, Abraham. Meh. Okay, I'm liking this one. Look at this. Higher than 30. And solid pinpointing. Let's dig. Unfortunately, nuts. Dime. That's a quarter. 32, 33. Could be a quarter spill. I am hoping for more. Well, it's a relic. It's like a wheel or something. So let's test how relicky it is by hitting it with the hand of God. Probably not smart to hit relics with shovels. <laughs> um, ah, here we go. Yeah, it's an old wheel. They used this for filler. This field definitely was filled in. Quarter. Push shackle in to get key out. Oh my god. What the hell is it? <laughs> yeah, push shackle in to get key out. Well, just the fact that you're using the word shackle. Yeah. That's old. That's cool. All right. Yeah. Relics are people too. Relics are people too. Well, I guess it's the relic part of the video. We just got a sweet button. Okay. Well, this is pretty awesome. Look at what Jeff just found. It's an earwax cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Thank you. Uh, I get plenty it's of a beautiful work. one. <laughs> yes, well. Uh... <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm speechless after that one. I'm done too. Okay. So we're probably going to do round two tomorrow morning. But there was still one more surprise. You know, I'm throwing out my trash and I'm looking at this. This could be a ring. Right here. I thought it was a big pull tab, but that's actually... Like, look at that. It's meant to go around a finger. 
I almost threw it out. You know, one of the highlights of this journey is seeing the parts of my city that I just have not been to. And uh, I'm in the middle of Flatbush, Brooklyn right now, and uh, I feel like a tourist in my own town. I I've uh, taught in Brooklyn, but uh, I've taught in Williamsburg, which isn't too far, but... Uh... Oh no! This Taco Bell, it's, there's no drive through Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! Forget all the compliments I was just saying about Flatbush. Come on, man! You know, even though we live in the age of Google Maps, there's no better way to scout out locations than to just get lost and drive. I mean, if you get lost, you have to be able to find it again. But uh, you see something, you go, hmm, I, I want to dig that. And uh, that, that's the ultimate way to do it. Okay, that's what we're waiting for. Look right there. That's a real Taco Bell. It's got a drive through This one has a drive through Let's go. Time for the drive through Speed a little. This is urgent. Hello? Hi, how are you? Hi, can I get a number eight, please, and a bean burrito? And a drink with a number eight? Um, a uh, cherry Pepsi. Anything else? That's it. Would you like any more half hour yellow sauce? I'm sorry? Would you like any more half hour yellow sauce? Uh, no thanks. Hang on away sound window, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What the hell did he say? Nice kid, I just didn't know what the hell he was saying. Well, I kind of subtracted the silver already from here, but this this was the clad that we got. Anyway, we had a good time, and I thank you, and uh, I have uh, people waiting for me in here to play uh, Mario Kart. So, this is the end of the video. Hit subscribe. Anybody want to say hi? No, they don't want to say hi. Hi, YouTube. The end. Peace.